Because I'm joined now by currency strategist Murad Choudhury. Choudhury, he's uh, from Europe, Arab Bank. Murad, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Good morning. Uh, well, what is actually dictating action today? I mean, I guess you know we're going to have volatile at times when volumes are so thin. Well, today is really not much of a day for trading. I mean, it's, you're right, it's going to be very thin, equity, currency, all assets. People have wound down for the holidays in good time ahead of today. So today is not really much of a day for the markets. All the focus is on what markets are going to be doing next year. Yeah, and that's what brings us nicely to what will they be doing? Well, with regard to currencies, personally, I think that the US dollar will see its weakness that has been highlighted and the subject of a lot of debate all through this year reversed. It'll, it'll consolidate next year against the major currencies. And of course, the big talking point is when the Federal Reserve starts to raise interest rates. We don't think that's going to happen until later on in the year because the Fed will want to see that the economic statistics are conclusively pointing to a sustained recovery. But the minute the markets get a sniff that the rates are going up, the dollar is going to start appreciating against the euro, sterling and other currencies. So, but underpinning that, you know, you say is a solid global recovery taking place or a solid US recovery. So we've seen a bit of a change because we did see when equity markets were rising, we saw dollar weakness this year, but that's turned around, hasn't it? It has, and essentially for the reasons I've said, the equity rise that we've seen since March hasn't really had any real basis to it. The paradox is that US T-bill rates have been falling to virtually zero at the same time that equity markets have been rising. That's a paradox and should be a warning sign for people who think equity markets are out of the woods. I don't think they are. Whereas with the currency, it's essentially a question of when rates go up and the fact that when they do, the carry trade in US dollar will unwind, so the weakness will disappear. Not massively, it's not going to strengthen massively, but it will stop weakening and will start appreciating. Uh, Murad, okay, ECB, will it go before the Fed? Yes or no? Yes, it will indeed. Okay, so you see the dollar stabilizing, but surely the euro will appreciate then? Well, we've got some other conflicts here because the euro zone still has worries on its peripheral areas, Greece, Ireland, Spain, what have you, and non-euro countries within the EU, like Latvia, are still a concern. So euro weakness will start to manifest itself even despite that the ECB starts to raise rates. Now, if the ECB were to raise rates and the Fed did nothing for another year afterwards, yes, it would strengthen. But the fact is, we think the ECB will be maybe one or two quarters at most ahead of the Fed and the Bank of England in right. raising rates. Okay, but where does that leave sterling? It's always sort of squeezed and uh, has been following, well, one or the other. It doesn't come, people can't make up the minds. The Absolutely. Moment. When we've spoken before, uh, personally, you and I, it's always the question of sterling being squeezed between the two major currencies. The, the same thing will happen this time. We see it in a range, uh, slightly weaker in the next two quarters against dollar, for example, below the 160 mean reversing area. It'll be in the 150 to 160 range. But it shouldn't weaken too much because UK rates will also be rising more or less at the same time as US rates. But yes, it will get squeezed essentially against dollar strengthening and euro weakening. Well, uh, underpinning dollar pound weakness surely is the state of the economy very quickly. The UK economy, yes, because again, we're still the last country in the major G20 to come out of recession. Uh, so that, that's an issue for the sterling currency as well. Now, if you wanted to take advantage of the volatility and the low volumes today, what would be your trade of the day? <laughs> trade of the day today would be to sit on your hands. <laughs> the trade of the day for quarter one next year is to be uh, to, to look at getting out of any carry trade because dollars going to strengthen. Murad, thank you very much indeed for joining My us. My pleasure. Merry Christmas. Murad uh, Chowdhury there.